Hi everyone and welcome to the happy heart. I'm so glad you guys came by today to talk about stocking stuffers. Stocking stuffers are literally my favorite part of Christmas. <laughs> Hands down, always have been my favorite part of Christmas. Um, it goes back to a tradition that in my family, my grandmother always used to put the stockings up for everybody in the family along her really long fireplace and on Christmas Eve everybody would go over there and she would stuff the stockings and then later on my aunts would stuff them too and so it was just this fun tradition to walk in as a kid and see all these stockings lined up with you know stuff piling out and it, it was just so much fun and we never got anything like amazing or wonderful it was just the fun of it and I think that's why I love stockings so much. They're just fun. When you're looking for stocking stuffer ideas, I think that is the big key. You're just looking for fun items that people actually want and will actually use. Today I'm gonna to show you guys really fun stocking ideas that I'm doing for my husband this year. I hope that these are some original ideas um, that you maybe haven't thought of that will get you kind of in the groove of ideas uh, for stocking stuffers. So on to the stocking stuffers. My first idea is on Black Friday, Walmart always has these two pack of um, basketball shorts. And for the past couple years, this is I've always got this and put this in his stocking. It's something that men always need. Brother, for your cousin, anything like that. Basketball shorts you can't go wrong with because they sleep in them, they run out and do things in them. Um, you, you just can't go wrong with basketball shorts. You can always use another tape measure. I got this one at the Dollar Tree and just to like throw into his stocking. So this is always a good item that people are gonna need, people are gonna want, and something that you can't go wrong with. And for a dollar, you can't go wrong. Um, I actually got him this other tool. It's an eight in one screwdriver, so it has different bits on it. I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. I think even for ladies, this is a really fun gift because you know that you have tools in your house that are your husband's and you can't find them. They don't know where they are. So I always have to have my own kind of off to the side too. So I think this is actually a really fun gift for anyone. All right, now let's go to the practical side. My husband, he travels a lot. Oh, I actually got him this travel size first aid kit to just throw into his suitcase in case he needs it. Chances are he won't use it, but it will make me feel better and it was a dollar. And I think it's a practical gift. This would be really good for like a mom, anybody kind of an older person, something like that. So they just have this little kit that they can stash in their luggage to go. They can stash it in their medicine cabinet and it was only a dollar at Walmart. Also, travel size toothpicks. If you know somebody who travels a lot for work or they're going on a lot of trips, a lot of vacations, something like that, I actually use these in my house because the pack takes up too much space in my drawer. So I'll put these in my drawer and then I'll use the big pack underneath and I'll just refill this little one. And so I even use it at home. So it's a really good, easy, fun dollar stocking stuffer. My next stocking stuffer is this little knife. It is a four inch blade. I actually saw them at Walmart on Black Friday. And I thought this is a really cool idea for any man. Um, they always kind of need one um, just to have in the house. Some guys I know carry them in their pockets. This one had some camel on it. And I just thought what a good stocking stuffer that is something that they probably would want, probably would need, and that they're not gonna throw away. All right, next one, I actually saw this when I was just at Walmart tonight. It's a little massager, like a hand massager, and so you can kind of massage your back. I thought this would be a really good stocking stuffer, just um, especially for men, men who um, do a lot of physical work. When you are sitting at a desk, you know like you get those cricks in your shoulders and things like that, and who wants to come home and give their husband a massage? Like, I just want to... And so I got a boyish color, but they had all different colors. I got this for $4.88 at Walmart. This is kind of an inside joke. What my husband is getting, it's a pack of zip ties. Um, my husband uses these all the time, uses them in his job, and 
I don't know, anything that he can think of, he'll like zip tie together. He does a lot of like wiring and stuff, and so he'll zip tie the wires together. And so this is kind of an inside joke, so you can always get zip ties at the dollar store. And I actually think like for a man gift, I don't think this is too bad. It's something they can use and probably need. All right, so this is just regular duct tape, I know. But I picked this up at the Dollar Tree and I just thought this would be a really funny gag gift because what guy doesn't like duct tape? And you know they fix a ton of stuff with duct tape. And so I don't feel bad saying that duct tape is a good stocking stuffer. I found this Ozark Trail um, can cozy, I guess you could say. So it fits a can in it instead of like the big Ozark cup. And we all like these Ozark cups. We all know that they keep everything cold and wonderful. And um, the Can Cozy ones, I think, are just a niche that nobody's really caught on to. You know, we think of like those rubber ones that they had like back when our parents were having barbecues and they would put a little cozy around their, their can. And I think this is actually a really good gift. Something they're gonna use, something that they're gonna like, I'm really trying to get gifts that if I'm going to spend my hard-earned money on it, then I want them to like it, I want them to use it, and I don't want it to be just thrown away. And I don't want to buy a gift just to buy a gift. I want it to actually be useful. And so really um, trying to find different things that you know will be useful is kind of the key, I think, to stocking stuffers because if you just go buy a bunch of cheap stuff that people throw away anyway, you might as well have just gave them $20 and not done any of it. Now, you can never go wrong with candy in a stocking. I don't care how old you are, who you are, you can never go wrong. Maybe diabetics, but still, um, you can't really go wrong with stocking and candy. Like, they just kind of go together. So for my husband, his absolute favorite candy is Snickers. I got him some Snickers Christmas trees that I'm gonna open this package and actually just dump it in the stocking. I randomly got a Snickers at the checkout counter. It says Snarky. And so I'm gonna throw that in because I got that on a different shopping trip. Also this year at Walmart, instead of having the candy canes that just have um, M&M's in them like we're used to. They have different ones that have different little candy bars. So I got him the Snickers one and I always think this is a great tradition. I don't care how old you are, like these little plastic candy canes are good for kids, they're good for adults. I think now that they came out with the ones with the little candy bars in them is actually really fun for adults. For kids, I say go with the M&M's because every kid should get a candied M&M, but adults kind of want something different usually. So this is definitely going in his stocking this year. I got him this other random thing at Walmart. It's a cast iron skillet that you make a chocolate chip cookie in. And I thought this was super fun. And I just thought it'd be fun to do one night. And I think this could kind of go for a girl. Um, I think this could go for an older kid. It was $5 and it's big, so it takes up a lot of room in the stocking. So sometimes I know you're looking for little things and sometimes you're looking for big things. This is a really good, big thing if you're only wanting to get maybe three four five things go ahead and get the bigger and it looks like the stocking's more full so this year this is what i got him and i'll probably end up making it to be quite honest but that's okay all right guys that is all that is going in my husband's stocking this year and i am so excited for him to open it and to see everything and i'm hoping that he's gonna love it I hope this gave you some fun ideas. Um, there's a varied price range here, and I don't think I went above $5. I kind of went dollar store and Walmart, didn't do anything fancy. Also, if you guys are looking for any other ideas, I do have a few more that I have done in the past, but I'm not doing this year. I have done um, lighters. I have done um, Zippo lighters you can get at the register of Walmart, and I've done that for my brother. Um, pens, because my husband likes a particular pen for work, and so I've done that before, and he actually appreciates that a lot. My husband uses um, little flashlights for work, and so We've done that numerous times. We've gotten him uh, flashlights, and a lot of times my mom gets him that. 
and actually small flashlights I think you can do for anybody stocking across the board. I think it's a good gift because you always need it. It doesn't matter. Um, little kids up to adults and you can get those at the Dollar Tree as well. At the Dollar Tree they actually have um, packs of carabiners so if you're looking for something like that I think that would actually be really good. There's fun um, car rags and things like that at the Dollar Tree. You can always do air fresheners for your car, air fresheners for your house, um, especially for men because they definitely appreciate that and us women do too. Thank you guys for coming by and I'm so glad that I can share my stocking stuffer ideas with you and the things that I'm putting in my husband's stocking this year. I hope that this gave you some really fun ideas and some kind of different original ideas that you hadn't thought of before. But like I said, if you have anything that is just perfect that has worked wonders for you, please, you know, let us all know so we can uh, be picking those up as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time that I upload a video. And I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays!